the price just went up. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's currently a Tuesday vlog day, 5.20 a.m. in the morning. Getting the coffee ready. We're going to start reading. All right, it's 7.25 a.m. I actually had to come back to my house to pick up the suit. We are officially in the office. It's just before 8 o'clock. I think it's like 7.40 or something along those lines. What we're going to do is, first things first, get some water because I'm dehydrated. I'm running about four hours of sleep. Then I'm gonna get into some work here. I gotta respond to some emails, schedule some showings, and look up houses for buyers. And at nine o'clock, we're gonna call expireds and then finish up calling circle prospects. So by 11.30, we should be done with all the calling, including the follow-up. Oh, and I'm also editing a new vlog. So that's that should be done and posted by 8.30 a.m. Okay, so it is 9.39 a.m. I just finished calling about 16 expireds. One person has picked up, not interested. <laughs> <laughs> the call didn't go anywhere quickly. So what I'm gonna do right now, I've pulled together about 68 households to call uh, on the circle prospecting side, which we're probably gonna add more after we're done with this. 68 is not a lot of houses. <laughs> it's a little bit early, but early bird gets the warm. Hi there, is this Mrs. Uh, Mulapudi? Oh, my apologies, ma'am. Looks like I got the wrong number. You have a great day. And while I wait, since I can't necessarily use my phone, I'm gonna get on YouTube and reply to all your comments to the most recent vlog. So please do go and watch that vlog. It'd be greatly appreciated. Last week was a great week for me. Did three closings. We have another one in a couple weeks. Hello? Hi there, is this Mrs. Patrick? My name is Aram, I'm a local real estate agent. Did I catch you at a bad time? No problem, you have a great day. Okay, she said, end that quote, I'm not interested, don't call my phone. Please note that, do not call my phone. <laughs> Which we will not do, because we're not gonna call her phone. But that is two contacts for the day, one from Expireds and one from Circle Prospect. Hi there, is this uh, uh, Mr. Zebel? Hello, sir. My name is Aram, I'm a local real estate agent. And I was just calling real quick, because a home went under contract in your neighborhood, and I was wondering what your plans were for moving in the next year or so. No problem. Ruined my script on that one. I, I mixed that script with another script. Jared Lee Dotson. I see your comment and I appreciate your comment, brother. Christian Hernandez. I see your comment. You were super quick. It was like three minutes after I posted. So much love to my man, Cody, Cody Masters. Loving the continued support. Thank you for bringing it in. And Properties by Penny was the, f hello? Hello? Properties by Penny was the first co comment, which I'm very grateful for, so thank you very much. Penny, I hope you're having a good day. And uh, that's all the comments we got so far, but I think I like this. And maybe in the prospecting time, we'll, we'll take it to respond to some of the comments and, uh, Maybe you'll see some reactions because oftentimes you just see me reply to you guys in words, which I reply to every comment. So like, comment, and subscribe, people, and uh, we can get to, we can get to it. Hi there, is this Mrs. Uh, Bodapudi? Hello, ma'am. My name is Aram. I'm a local real estate agent. Uh, did I catch you at a bad time? Okay, no worries. I'll be super quick. Doesn't matter because she's gonna hang up the phone. Hi there, is this Mrs. Sweet? Oh. The win- No ma'am, no, it's not about the windows. I mean, I definitely have the wrong phone number, but I'm not calling about windows. <laughs> I am so sorry for that interruption. Somebody called me back, ruined the entire camera. I just got off the phone with the, one of the nicest ladies ever. Uh, I called her, but I was trying to reach her son. And we just started talking. She was like, you know, they might do something in three years, but give them a call. Tell them your mother told me to call you. <laughs> it's going to be great. So I'm going to give the guy a call. I'll probably shoot him a text message with the video. And because uh, apparently he does day trading and he's probably going to be too busy with the market. So or I might call him after five. I don't know. I'll play by ear. And that entire amazing phone call started with her being upset about people calling her uh, about windows. So it's all about knowing how to handle when they're getting upset and just kind of nip it in the butt and move on. Now it's time for bathroom break, numero uno. Let's go. Okay, we are done with the phone calls. 
I don't know if I still want to do more or if I want to stop now. I'm not quite sure, but I do want to check in and kind of share some of the things going on in my head right now. I am losing complete motivation to cold call. It is so hard to even do like an hour right now. By hard, I mean I'm lazy. <laughs> Physically, it's not hard, right? And I don't know why it's doing this. Maybe it's because the production is coming in and it's like that trap and I can't help falling into that trap. But I'm sitting here, I'm trying to figure out a better way to do this and I'm tossing and turning whether I want to do silk prospecting, which is really not designed for now business, but it's for like building a database. Whereas uh, if I call like just for sale by owners all day, it's gonna be less contacts, less phone calls, but they're they're all interested in selling and there's every person I talk to, there's an opportunity there, right? So I'm tossing and turning. We might do a switch, we might not. I do like the long-term uh, longevity of circle prospecting, but you know, these are what we call business decisions and they take me forever to make. And the podcast, let's talk about the podcast. Turns out I lose, that's right. I had to eat this one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I already think, I think I may have already talked about it. I have to switch names, so now I have to figure out what name to go with. I have to change the old podcast names and uh, kind of start fresh, which is fine. I'm not too worried about it, but it's just annoying. You know what I mean? Now I gotta get a new, I gotta do the whole process to get a new federal trademark with whatever name I end up choosing and go from there. So it is currently 10.36 a.m. Time to do some follow-up calls and then maybe we hop back on and we can do some more cold calls. Stay tuned. And to help me help you, please, in the comments, tell me what type of, what videos do you wanna, what topics do you want me to touch on? What do you want me to talk about? What do you want me to make videos of? What do you want me to share? What kind of stories? Let me know in the comments so I kinda know what's gonna appeal to you. Cause I don't wanna make videos that I think I like. I wanna make videos that you, that I know that you will like. Folks, we are back. It's 11.34. We just finished up all the, uh, yes, I'm shopping for dress shirts. It's happening. But uh, we finished up all the follow-ups, so now we have an hour and a half to figure out something productive to do, which will most likely be me filming a video back there and posting some stuff on social media. And then I might do some cold calling, depends on how I feel. And as you can see, these are the uh, doofuses that I cold called with. Say hello, fellas, go ahead. What's up? And just when I was losing hope on phone calls, just got a hot lead, man's looking to sell in the next year or so, we're gonna do CMA and get it rocking and rolling. It's probably gonna be a $600,000 house. Checking in, ladies and gentlemen, it is 1.05 p.m. Obviously, I'm already on my way to Chicago where I'm gonna get my suit tailored. And I figured, and this is like a lesson in networking and how to you know, stay connected with your sphere, I'm gonna use this opportunity of me going to Chicago to meet up with somebody that I know that is a client who lives in Chicago for lunch. So I'm gonna be killing two birds with only one stone. And uh, I'm gonna focus on driving now before I die. <laughs> Just like that, we're in Chicago. I gotta pay for parking real quick, get my suit, and then we can go to suit supply. Whew. The price just went up. All right, oh, I just broke that. We are done with the alterations. Now it's time to go get lunch. I am going out the right way. As you guys saw, I look like money in that suit, so that's why the price went up. So we have a slight change of plans here because it started pouring rain just a few seconds ago. So I canceled lunch because since only patios are open, we're not about to <laughs> eat lunch and take a shower at the same time. So I'm gonna reschedule with them over the weekend. Now I'm gonna go back to the office. I'll probably grab some something to eat on the way there. And I have so many messages and emails I need to get back to. So that's gonna be the main goal for today. Okay, we're in the office. I got some Chipotle as usual. Put the guac on there this time. Then we're gonna do some, eat some lunch. I gotta review a commercial lease real quick for El Padre. And then, then we have a showing at 4.15. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And we are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently 4.02 p.m. On my way to three showings, actually. We got one at 4.15, one at 4.30, and then the last one's at five o'clock, and it's I don't know if you can see, but it is raining and we're expecting some kind of a tropical storm, which we don't get tropical storms in Chicago, hence why we live in Chicago. But we are here at the second showing. It's still raining, but it's still like a light drizzle on and off. And my, I am the idiot that wore white shoes today. Yep, that's me. Don't wear white shoes if you want to sell real estate, ladies and gentlemen, just don't, don't do it. It's a bad idea. Bathroom, that's me. And they got a plunger in the sink. If we go downstairs, 
By the way, say hi, Richard. Hi. This is this is a subscriber from YouTube. It happens. If we come down to the to the shower downstairs, get a beautiful fan. If you have no friends, at least you got a fan. And just like that, we are back in the car. It is 5.24 p.m. I'm on my way home because the day is pretty much over. There is a little bit of excitement that occurred. This London buyer I had, the scammer, whatever you want to call him, just sent me the most BS thing I've ever seen. It was like his company name was in Ward Art. Ladies and gentlemen, if anybody owns a legit company, they do not use Word Art. And Mr. Client, if you're watching this, next time don't use Word Art. He's coming. I was laughing. I, it, I got the letter when I was uh, at a showing. It was hysterical. I'm like, if I was suspicious before, now I have the answers that I'm looking for. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, be very, very careful when you get these luxury buyers. When it's too good to be true, whenever that gut is giving you a certain feeling, listen to your gut. Uh, especially in this business, you know, you got to worry about your safety as well. There's a bunch of crazy people over there. You want to take it to these big houses, whatever they want to do, etc., etc. So be careful. If your gut's telling you this, this something's fishy, then let it go. If someone's really interested in buying a house, they're not going to give you a hard time about pre-approvals. They're not going to give you a hard time about wanting to see the place, about getting you proof of funds, anything because they're serious about buying a place and they're serious buyers. If they want to play games, let them go play games with another agent. So, lesson learned. Hope you're all having a good day. I'm going to be signing out. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want me to post more of and I will get it going. Video tour should be coming up soon. We got tagged with the copyright strike, so I had to replace the song. Just waiting for it to be sent back to me. So, stay tuned, please.